Because I'm not gonna have a conversation. Am I being detained? Am I being detained or am I free to go? Well, I need to. Am I being detained? Or I am need, I free to I go? Need your identification that doesn't so answer my question. I can write you a citation for... Are you here too? The following video is brought to you by the Cop Block Network. Together, we can further the police accountability message. Visit copblock.org slash network for more details. Hello everybody, it's Adamo with copblock.org. Last month, Dio and myself went out to Iowa to assist the editor of copblock.org, Josh, with a protest for Ryan Bollinger. On our way back, we made a pit stop in Wisconsin, where I grew up. It's also where I started to formulate my ideas about the police, primarily from personal experience. One of those experiences was with the Dodge County Sheriff's Department, who was responsible for arresting me in 2001 for conspiracy to distribute marijuana charge. Ultimately, my experience with the Dodge County Sheriff's Department led me to the ideas I had today and to the creation of coplock.org. Therefore, I wanted to stop by while in town and say thanks. Here's the video. Great message. I came to town all the way from Ohio to thank you guys. In 2001, some of your officers arrested me for selling marijuana. And I thought it, I thought I was a bad guy, and then I did all this wrong stuff. But I realized that it was you guys who was really wrong. And then I started a website called coplock.org, and now millions of people know about the police state today. There's 1.4 million likes on Facebook. We get over a million views of the website every day. So thanks. Oh, you got the chalk. I don't have any chalk on my hand. Thank you very much. Appreciate sure. it. Well, you can't chalk on, on our building. And that's not the building. It's just a step. Yeah, that's, that's it's concrete. It's still part of the property. Freedom of speech. Do we have that here? Do you guys don't you guys protect freedom of speech? We do, but uh, chalking up our chalking up the county chalking property. up, putting the face in the county property. So facing it. So there was a face there that I wrecked. I could pee on it. It would go away. That's not defacement. Well, then you can go ahead and start wiping it off. Start wiping it off. So you're saying that if I don't wipe it off, what will happen? I'm not sure. We can find out. I mean, we can find out. So now you're going to threaten me with arrest for freedom of speech. But yet you also try to say you uphold freedom of speech. Well, I said that you get freedom of speech. It doesn't include putting chalk in the writing. Or that doesn't? How do you know that? Well, because that's county property. We can't, it's not a long story. Well, this is... We so if I was like... What if I did this? I draw cops. I would ask you to wipe that up as well. Is that county property? So hold on. Now when you turn around the street doing hopscotch on the sidewalk like that, are you gonna ask someone to wipe that off? But this, oh, okay. this, this is part of our, this is part of the sheriff's office. Building. So it's public property, just like the sidewalk. This is part of the sheriff's office building property. Right here. Is the sheriff's office building public property? It is county property, so it's public. So you understand my confusion here? I, We're gonna make an, I understand the point you're trying to make, but we can. I'm trying to thank you guys. I'm trying to say thank you. For inspiring me to and you, and a website. And you made your point and you've got your photograph. Now, how about I finish it and then if you guys want to have the dude come by and spray it off like every other police department does, you can. Not you know. Why is that? Well, we can we can look into whether you're going to get charged. What, what are we going to look up? Like uh, the facing yeah. government property? You're going to give me a pink slip? You're going to give me a ticket? We can start sorting that out or you can finish your work and then go ahead and clean that up and we'll do that. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, I guess I'll finish my work and you'll go try to find some law. Any idea on you today? Any idea on me? Am I being detained? What's your name? My name's Scott Smith. Well, I'm not going to ask any. I'm not going to answer your questions whether or not you're investigating me. If you have probable cause that I'm suspected of a crime, then maybe we can do something about that. But right now, I don't think I'm under any suspicion of creating a crime. You haven't articulated one to me yet. You think this is against the law, but I'm thinking that it's a product of freedom okay, of speech. So what you're telling me then? And what's your name again? My name? My name's a Dave. And your last name? Oh, I don't have to give you one. You're not going to give me any. No. I gave you a name. So you're willing to, so we're gonna, you're gonna keep, so which, about getting this straight? <laughs> you're gonna continue to, to write on the, on the chart, okay? You're gonna continue writing that. Okay, and you're saying you're not gonna clean it up when you're done. I didn't say anything about that. I'm saying that okay, at this you, point. Will you clean it up when you're done? It depends. I mean, I don't know if I'm legally obligated on, depends to. Depends on, depends on what. Well, it depends on how much force you're gonna threaten me with. Well, I'm not threatening you with any force. Yeah, I'm you're saying you're gonna you with, arrest some, me. with some enforcement. Well, I didn't say anything about arresting you. You could potentially receive a citation. Oh. Well, I would definitely take a citation. Well, I also think that until we know, we don't have to answer that question. That's true, too. But I'm just, I'm just going to exercise my freedom of speech. I appreciate you guys. You guys, I mean, uh, Detective Dan. I can't remember his last name. Is there a Dan that works here? You have a chair with me your name, so I'm really oh. not interested in sharing anything else with you. <laughs> okay. Well, copblock.org. Right. You can just 
just run in there and look me up real quick, and I'm sure you'll find out who I am. Won't take long. Won't take too long. So what you're telling me is you're going to continue doing this. I'm not telling you. You're, you're, you're going to fabricate whatever you want in your mind. I'm not fabricating. I'm I am going to continue to, to exercise my freedom of speech, yes. Okay. All right. Stay anybody over here? You're going to be with me shortly? Mm -hmm. Wait, can I leave if I want? No, right now you're right now you need to stand by. I'm on standby? Oh, I am right being detained. Right now I want to. Right now I, I'm asking Wait, you. Wait, what if I stop? How about I just go home? Can I just leave? I'm not telling you you can't leave. I'm asking you to stay. You're asking me to stay? Yes, sir. <laughs> Maybe I should get my phone out and uh... Either that or we jet. No jetting. We just start live streaming. No, no, no. Not true. Don't lie. This is where she holds up the freedom of speech. Watch this. Watch this. She's going to be like, freedom of speech. You just have to let them be. But it, you guys, you need to clean it up. <laughs> okay. Why do I need to so. clean it up? Like, I can understand what you could say, like, it might be the right thing to do. It might be courteous to clean it up. Okay. But I'm not, like, legally obligated to clean it up. Like, he's saying that, like, I might get a ticket possibly go to jail if I like been paid. I'm saying what jail? Well, I'm just saying, saying what's the logical conclusion when you don't pay tickets? Like potential, well, potential, that's, that's Yeah, yeah. so that. it's like always like this or else, like no matter how nice it starts at the beginning. I'm saying that potentially you've got an ordinance citation you face it if you refuse to clean the chalk out. So city ordinance supersede my freedom of speech. This is a county property. Right, well, I know. Okay. See, I wrote that at the word. You don't have to worry about that. Okay. I don't think you might have to walk back. But Did you go around and like the kids who play hopscotch to like wipe that off too? On the sidewalk? Yeah, but that's a, sidewalk is public property. Sure. This is public property. This is county property. Which is public Which is public property. property. Like the street we're standing in. Right. And if they were writing inappropriate things on the sidewalk, they would be asked oh, to Oh, so they think this well. is inappropriate. To thank the police for arresting me. And we can, we can, it's inappropriate to thank the police for arresting me. Do you guys have identification? Am I required to provide you with that? Well, in, in the event that this would cause some type of damage, yeah, you'd be responsible for that situation, so. Do you think chalk causes damage to concrete? I, I don't, don't know, know yet. If it you don't know yet? Oh, because this could be like super secret, like. You haven't attempted to clean it up yet, so I can't, <laughs> can't wait to an answer. Right. Uh, okay, well. So you guys are going to try to determine if I'm breaking the law and I'm going to continue to do what I'm going to do. That's where we're at. You guys are making this really interesting. I was just going to take a picture of myself with it and then leave town. But now I have like a YouTube video. And we get to go on the website. You guys want to visit Copblock out there? I have. You have? Awesome. Have you been to the Welcome Leo's page on there? The Welcome Leo's page on there? There's a Welcome Leo page on there. Like how you guys could work for like customers and private businesses and stuff and not like tyrannical governments. Oh, yeah, we're, we're let's, focus, let's focus on the message okay. anymore. So currently well, before we get back to that, can you <laughs> pronounce your name for me, please? It's Borcher. Okay, Borcher. thank you. Yes. Do you have a badge number or is it? What's that? you have a badge number? Or? It's 374 with thank the city of Juneau. Thank you. So you... What else were you going to write on this well, uh, wall say, here? In 2001, I was arrested by the Dodge County Sheriff Department for selling me. And then okay. I wanted to thank them because of that, I started a website, coplock.org. And then I was going to write over there, now millions of people know about the police thing. Now I'm going to snap a selfie, probably from right about here. And I was going to put it on my website. And then maybe you guys, I'm sure you guys got some inmates in there that want to come outside and do some cleaning. Maybe from over there. Some fresh air for a little bit. Well, no, I think you trying to push your work off onto somebody else is going to push my work off. Yeah. I, think, I think what you need to do is go ahead and finish up what you're doing and then go ahead and start cleaning it up. How am I going to clean it up? I don't want to be water. Oh, you supposed to spit on it? I don't know. Probably should have that before you start chalking up. Oh, well, then I'll just leave and go get some water and come right back. <laughs> this is so silly, guys. Well, I agree. I, I know. Yeah, I'm just trying to make a point. We're not the ones that are. No, I know. Well, this is. This is silly. This is kind of like entertaining to me because I guess you get to see this. I'm glad that you find it entertaining. Yeah, it's freedom of speech. I don't know. It's not a big deal. It's children's chalk. Like, when's it supposed to rain next? Tomorrow? Can we just let God settle this for us? It is? I don't know. Perfect. So, it is Wisconsin. What if I had just, what if it just said, I love the police? Would we be having this conversation? 
Yeah, we still, we still yeah. yeah. We don't let we don't let we don't let employees come out here. Well, it's just Chuck. I think it's just that. We disagree. It's not. It doesn't particularly. But I'm not, I'm not breaking the law. What are you gonna do? Write me up for graffiti? This don't count as graffiti. I beat that charge in New Hampshire. This isn't my first time talking police station. Well, as long as you're willing to identify yourself and there's no damage done to the vehicle, to the wall. Then you're good to go. I am the founder of Copwalk.org. There, I've identified myself. Well, we're willing to identify yourself if you're willing to articulate an ordinance that says that we're not allowed to do this. Well, if, if there ends up being damage to the property, that would be, that would be a violation. You're talking what ifs. So, What's so the so ordinance saying. you're trying to you enforce to get his name? Well, the then we can wait until you're done cleaning it up to verify that there is absolutely no damage to the wall. And then we're wasting By now, you should be able to figure who I am. I said I'm the founder of Copwalk.org. There's a website. I was arrested here. In 2001, I have no warrants or anything. I wouldn't walk up to the police station if I had warrants. Well, we don't know that. Well, I know that. But I mean, like, but that has nothing to do with chopping. So, like, trying to catch me on some fishing expedition isn't. But really uh, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, not a fishing sorry. expedition. You don't even know if it's a crime. Yes, it is a fishing expedition. Well, then show us it is not. Show it it's not a show. You show us it's not a crime. You're the law. Well, no, no writing on other people's property. Says who? Oh, well, show me the law. This is other people's property. It's public property. Watch and your backs, guys. And, and it's, it's owned by Dodge County. It is people. a county yeah, building. It's public property. It is a county like, building. That was bought by taxpayer I money. I didn't go on the concrete for you guys. Which makes it a public property. Yeah. This is a nice little retaining wall for me. It's just like a beautiful campus. And, and members of the public don't get to write their own yeah, commentary on concrete. Why not? You guys should start that. You have not proven it's not against the law yet, so well, why can't they? We can start something here. And then you guys can get feedback from the community well, about your Why don't you finish up what you're doing? I will pull up the ordinance and, and then talk we'll go to from them. there. Yes, and then, and then we'll okay. go from there. But and I know there's the an meantime, ordinance against damaging property. We just, like, this won't damage any property. The kids can eat it to not die. Well, you can eat an egg too, but you can do damage. I gotta know what kind of damage do you do eat? So I guess Don't make we'll fun of my spelling. I'm shorthanding it now because you guys are rushing me. No grammar Nazi here. No grammar Nazis. Okay. You just tell me where you're posting yours, and I'll tell you where I'm posting mine. And well, he knows where we're posting oh, ours. Right. Where are you going to post your video at? Where are you going to post your pictures at? That's right, I'm going to make a video. It's going to be great. Do your rip I got tattoos and stuff. Make sure you get it all, Scorsese. Right. You know what you got to do? You got to put a blue line right here and then they won't cross it. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, at the conclusion of this part, I went along, chalking the wall, finishing what I had to say. Didn't seem either officer knew whether or not I was actually breaking a law, or at least they couldn't articulate it to me on the spot. In part two, you'll see Dio and I try to leave the scene of the crime. So stay tuned, and remember, badges don't grant extra rights.